You don't even drink the champagne, you just spray it at the other tables. You're too old to be doing that. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Yep. I just heard from the management here that we can't, unless the whole group is here by 4.15, they cancel my reservation, oh, I lose the... fucking Nobu Malibu? <laughs> It's a go-kart place. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. When we're in Los Angeles, it's not always easy to figure out what to do. This girl, you may remember, me and her did the RC airplanes together. Like you met her. Ago. You know her. But I know every week, week after week, I got to deliver the night shift because that's what the people want, and that's what I'm going to give them. So I call the place. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yo, go-kart racing place. Hey, what's up? I'd like to reserve a spot for 12 of my closest friends. Oh, sorry. The only way you're going to be able to film and do that is if you rent the entire facility. Watch it. Yo, I need that music off. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. I... What's going on? I hear this commotion from down hey, the street. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here, man? I'm here to win first place. I didn't invite you. Actually, you did. That's how I found out about it. <laughs> hey, is it okay for uh, blind people to drive the cars? Yeah, so anybody that's driving, we just want you guys to go ahead and register for us. Is it okay for blind people? And she said, yeah, just go register. <laughs> you just stumped. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't see this. He can't see anything. Okay. Does that affect his ability to, to drive? My other senses have been heightened, so I can hear better, I can feel better, I can smell the track. Uh, I could just feel it out. I go location. Like, <laughs> Just like the oldest one here, oh, by far, oh. I could tell. Life moves fast, and sometimes you gotta move fast with it. You know, as Ferris Bueller said, if you don't stop around and look at, what is it? You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Okay, so we're stopping and looking around at the go-karts, and also at Kelsey's Pasty Legs. No, stop, we're at a spray tan. Anyways, uh, okay. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, listen up. Festival season is officially upon us. It's the springboard into summer with Coachella happening this weekend. And so that probably means you want some fresh gear. And luckily for you, today's video is sponsored once again by Culture Kings, my favorite store on the internet. I've been talking about these guys for years and month after month, they just dropped new hot shit. They just dropped all this Rick and Morty stuff. They got Seinfeld and of course they got the Night Shift collab over on their website. I just copped this Breaking Bad tee. I cut the sleeves off it. It's perfect for Coachella or the gym. And since I know you guys like to get your stuff quick, Culture Kings just started shipping directly from the United States. I've heard some people ordering, getting it as quick as two days later, guys. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Use code Mike to get a discount, as always, at Culture Kings, the hottest streetwear store on the internet. Let's get back to the Night Shift, baby. I know I told you guys that I rented the whole place out, but before I could get the doors closed, a poor young man walked up, it's his birthday, by himself, and he goes, can I use the go-kart track? And the lady said, nah, not today, Buster Brown. This rich motherfucker got the whole place rented. Happy yeah. birthday, by the way, bro. Thank you, man. We actually rented the track out to yeah, yeah. a YouTube video. You're not allowed to be a part of it. We don't have any slots for you, bro. All right, that's all good. I, I, I thought, I thought we were gonna, but we had like a bunch of people come and stuff, and all right. So we'll walk, we'll walk you out. All right, man. We'll walk you. All right. Let's take him at the back. Right? So <laughs> okay. <laughs> walk you out. Bro, I'm kidding, dude. Come on, dude. What's wrong with you? They're gonna bro. let the birthday boy suffer, dude? No, you're bro, good, dude. You're with us. What's your name, bro? Casey. Casey, Mike, dude. Good to meet you. How old are you turning? 17. Oh, God dang, dude. Congrats. I remember I was 17. Did you just say I'm 18? Yeah. Oh, wait, so how old are you turning? Uh, 18. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. You're perfect <laughs> age for the adult content. Nice. Which one is the best Paul brother, Logan or Jake? My dad doesn't like either of them. I, I, I actually don't either, full transparency. Oh, really? So whatever your answer is here is completely warranted. That's, I don't really like either of them too Yeah, much. same. Okay, perfect. I think my team is going to come through with the win. Mike is too old. He's not good at shit like this. He's got bad knees and bones. Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> Me? Duh. Why are you so sure? Because I'm hot. I'm driving <laughs> under the influence. Duh. Do you think Mike's body weight? Uh, Mike's gonna, his shit is just gonna advantage? tip over. It's just you ever seen Bowser in Mario Kart? He's just not fast enough. I am gonna be like Toad. I don't even think Mike's fat ass is gonna be able to get in the fucking seatbelt. You dumbasses. Casey, don't make me regret this decision. I'm gonna come talk to your fucking principal. I swear to God. Hey, 
Mike wins is if he paid him off just like his Paul brother friends do on their fights. Whoa, whoa, Fuck whoa, you! Whoa, whoa. What you did in turn six was not fucking acceptable! Yo, me? No, it was God. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you too, bro! Fuck you, bro! Timeline, dude. That was nuts. School fights. Casey, it was good meeting you, brother. So much, Happy bro. birthday. You got second place in my book. <laughs> you seem like a real good kid. Stay on the right track, and most importantly, do not try drugs. And that includes marijuana. It's the gateway drug. I started with marijuana. One day it's a little puff puff outside the school. The next day you're giving a homeless person head to you get your hands a on a crack rock. You know what I'm saying? The winning team will be receiving the golden K1 speed wow. trophy. Wow. Team oh Jeff. Yo! Yeah! And new. And new. Go right behind my desk on Jeff of them. Well, that was some cool go-kart action. Look at us. We just zipped to Aspen. That kind of rhymed a little bit. Do you guys remember Charlotte? When's the last time you were on the vlog? Miami. And, and then I put her on my Snapchat. She's good clickbait because she is really pretty, but she's not like, I don't know if she's really built for like YouTube, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> she has an Instagram that has like four pictures on it. The last one was so it's in like 2013. But I like that off the grid shit, dude. That's like, that's like wifey right there. Bring this in. This is like a really rich people fucking area. Like yeah. this street right here, dude. They got Dior, Valentino. Like I know all the dogs are wearing Prada. The yeah. dogs are wearing Prada. In all honesty, Aspen is probably like one of the richest mountains mm, in the world. Not, Definitely not, shut up, not, David. Not shut up, shut the fuck up. I don't care about Stad. Fucking Stad. At least in the United States, it's the richest mountain in the United States. Tonight's a big food night. Everybody's super excited about this. gucci out, louis would out. David's got all his Dude, Dior yeah. on. Yes. What do you mean? What kind of question is that? Okay. Get out of my room. <laughs> Your room? Get out! <laughs> smell me. Smell. Just smell. Mumbai noise. What does that mean? It smells like shit that I sprayed myself. <laughs> Sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> That got bleeped. Oh! <gasps> oh, I hit you in a sweet spot. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> Yo, Yo no. you are no. looking no. good, dude. Um, no, 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 no. Dang, dude. Yeah. How long did it take me to get ready? 15? How long did it take you to get ready? Not that long, like 45 minutes. You're literally, you look like you're dressed to go to like a <laughs> soiree in south of France. What? Well, and she's trying to pick up another right? rich I didn't dude. come out here to be roasted. No, I mean all this in the best <laughs> way. You look This is like a sexy dad died. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sexy that's what I'm saying. Dad. Like a sex fat died outfit. <laughs> you look fucking hot. Have fun. I'll see you at dinner. You look really pretty. Thanks. In five uh, minutes. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think she looks better when she's in her cashies, dude. Her casuals. What do you What do you think about that? Like when sweat they're hair, sweatpants, yeah. hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. You know what I'm saying? Like that I don't kind like of makeup. I don't like makeup. It's a fucking lyric. David, it's a fucking Drake lyric. You're supposed to pick up on it. Aspen, one of the biggest party apres ski cities in the world, and no party in Aspen bigger than a place called Cloud Nine. It's at the top of the mountain. There's no way to take a bus or a snowmobile. You have to put skis on, take two lifts to the top of the mountain, and ski down to it. So people are skiing past us. Like, watch this guy. Show, ready? Yeah. This place may be the biggest, like, rich people waste of money on the planet. So they set the record every year as the biggest mover of Vouv Clicquot, Vouv, Vouv Clicquot, Vouv Clicquot champagne in the world. Last week someone bought a hundred bottles. bottles to just spray. You don't even drink the champagne, you just spray it at the other tables. A little fondue to start, but there's a seafood tower down there, so the See all these? They're all getting ready because in like 20 minutes, every one of these tables right here is going to have like 40 bottles and they're all going to be spraying each other. Jeff has talked about this since day one. He wants to do 100 bottles, but it's like 30 racks. Five years. Five years. He's been talking about this for so long. Fuck it. I always like to put little pins, little bookmarks in the moments that make me happy, guys. And this is one of them, being up on the hill with friends. That's what it's like.
it's all Let's about. Let's fucking boys. go. Me and Jeff just got a crazy workout. Give him a little film fucking. Legs, film the legs. See the legs. I don't know what to do about that. Why do you do the, the, the tights on It makes me feel it. tighter and it makes my legs disappear. I know that. I didn't want to get into it. Just fucking relax for a second, right? As you saw, we were in Aspen. Now I'm back. The first thing I did when I got back was got my face injected with needles. So if I look, look a little fucked up, I'm trying to stay young. Dixie D'Amelio tweeted last night, when do we get old? I say, whenever we fucking decide to. Here in LA, we stay young as long as we want to. Normally I come on the show, I mock it. You know, I act like I'm too cool to be here. You guys know the deal. Give, every, give everything a 10 out of 10, whether they deserve it or not. This guy's the real <laughs> deal he's passionate i would already go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10 dude you haven't even seen the burger you without can't rate it you haven't even fucking even seen it. no it. i'm not this allowing that. Off the guy <laughs> the deal with this place is they have a very special blend it's chicken meat it's actually not from cow nope that's wrong it's it's gr ground chicken that's incorrect it is beef but then he also has a percentage of pork bacon that's rolled into it single smash patty cheese buttery martin's potato bun that's it that's it, this is how he wants me to eat the burger. Similar to the place when we were in uh, Melbourne. No sauces, no ketchup, no mustard. He goes, eat my burger like this. Three, two, one, pork bacon. Because of the single patty and the cheese is really thick on it, it tastes like I'm eating a grilled cheese with a little bit of bacon and meat in it. This is gonna be a really hard rating. I told him about the burgers that I have at the top of my list. He goes, they're all sauce. Those are like the new age burgers. He goes, I fucking hate them. He told Jeff, he goes, I don't want onions on mine either. Fucking onions. That's what I knew. He's a good guy, and that this baby was a 10 out of 10 right there at that moment. But after taking a bite, I'm gonna have to give it a five. Out of five. <laughs> <laughs> if you do the math, that is equivalent to a 10 out of 10. Hey, buddy, 10 out of 10, perfect burger, never been done before. Right. Real quick, what are your thoughts on onions? I don't eat onions. I, I eat this. We might be related. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you could summarize your feelings towards onions in just two words, using the word onions, what would those two oh, words be? Um, Not edible. For me, onions are just, it's no, a- No, just two words, like yeah. one quick sentence. Uh, you know, I, I'm not against onions, I just don't like them. One word, one word, one uh, word. I think they overpower the taste. Uh, they, they take over the meat. Can you, can you summarize it into just one word? Imagine you spend your life going city to city, driving these Lamborghinis around a track, saying this Lamborghini is you know, as fast as this Ferrari is this, and this guy comes and he brings something as meaningful, but it's a tractor that you can use to cultivate land. There's no sauce, there's no pickles, there's no onions. When's the last time you tried to get potatoes out of the ground with a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? Impossible, uh -huh. impossible. Yeah. It's really hard to compare the two. I'm gonna say trip burgers, pop-up tent, guy doesn't like onions, you know, Vietnam style hat, 8.1, 8.1. Trip burgers, it's a great beef. I love pickles. I love the sauce. I like when they all play together and mush. You love Ferraris. You love Instagram models. You love bullshit. The shit that don't matter. This guy's passionate. He's the real deal. That fucking tractor you talked about, that analogy, that's me. That's my family. That's where I come from. That's my blood. You, sir, are a cloud chaser and you changed. I'm walking. 8.1. Great score. He fucking went ratted on me. Now we gotta get out of here in a hurry. He was like, to be honest, I don't even know who the fuck you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Coachella next weekend, me, Jeff, Tana. For this week's episode, thank you so much for working late with us. Can you say we're clocking out? We're clocking out. <laughs> Peace. Okay. Todd, what did I fucking say? Stop talking to the girls and come over here. Talking to Shannon. Shannon. Who's Shannon? Shannon. Shannon. It's not even a human. You guys want to say what's up to my YouTube channel? Nice. How do we get so many people? I don't know, you counted wrong, man. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I don't care what you're filming. This is my mm. shoe. I paid heavy money for this location. Rodrigo Rodriguez. Okay, what are your three rules for, honestly, I don't even care anymore. I got what I needed. Number one was Jeff Wittick. No, it wasn't. Yes, it he was. got no, he did it. No, I yeah, got the fastest no, lap. No, you didn't. That tractor would have been. You know what? I don't. I'm out. Who the fuck put soap in my face? Dude, I got chicks pulling up right now. I don't even know who that is. So I can walk here anytime. So it's. We have it's a brighter cool. light we could put on his face. You just got on everybody's yeah. good side, including Jeff's Reddit, dude.
for some individual 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 Bro, nice, nice. why do you have a light, dude? Right, Are bro, you that's serious? Nice. Get that thing out of my face, TM Steven. Uh, uh, ooh, he just made it. I'm what? A, I'm a that's enough, that's man. enough, honestly. Oh, oh shit, a crane. Bro, ask him some questions, Steven. Bro, are you <laughs> fucking serious? <laughs>